So for those of you who watched the uh, first Grendel um, Ultimate Ammo Comparison video, uh, I'm sure you've been waiting uh, for the second one to come out. Uh, I have been taking a while to do it because I uh, tried taking apart the gun several times, retorquing the barrel nut, uh, sending it to my father-in-law who's uh, fairly good at gunsmithing and uh, he did the same thing just to make sure that you know, it wasn't anything that I was doing or anything on the rifle that was causing the any accuracy. I took off the uh, muzzle brake to see if that affected the accuracy. I took off this scope and put on other scopes to see if that was affected. Um, I tried even different gas blocks, um, tried different ammo and uh, nothing was, was grouping really well. So I ended up contacting LaRue. I got this LaRue barrel from a third party who had bought the complete LaRue 6.5 Grendel rifle that came in parts, but he just never ended up putting it together. So I bought the barrel from him new and I contacted LaRue, you know, I was like, yeah, I bought this barrel um, from third party. I didn't buy it directly from you guys. I didn't know if there was any kind of warranty that you guys would do. They told me to send the barrel in to them. They would test it out. Uh, I sent in the barrel and the bolt face directly to LaRue. They had it for like a month or two and um, sent me a brand new barrel. So this is gonna be the first day that I go to the range with this new barrel installed. Hopefully um, see some better results. I'm gonna be shooting the same type of ammo. Uh, LaRue themselves said that uh, they, they test their barrels with the Hornady Black ammo, which is the cheaper, somewhat accurate um, ammo you can find for this. It's not really too expensive. But I have quite a bit of that, so I'm going to test that first. I'm going to recite the scope in, uh, make sure it's all shooting as is, and I'm going to test all the ammo that I did on the first ammo comparison video. So if you uh, subscribe for that, stay tuned and uh, see what the results show. I'm not going to be filming every single shot like I did in the first one. Uh, I might film a few shots at the range, but I'll probably just show you the results of, of the ammo at the end. Um, so stay tuned. Thanks. I just got back from the range today and uh, luckily the new LaRue barrel seemed to like a few of the rounds that I have been testing. So these are all the same exact boxes, same exact things I tried on the first video. If you wanted to check out the first video, I'll put a card up at the top of the screen here. Um, but I had really bad results with the first time. Uh, I, I, I tried multiple different uh, rounds multiple different times torquing and retorquing and taking apart the gun and putting the gun back together but um, nothing really showed any good results until I contacted LaRue and uh, they wanted me to send the barrel and the bolt together to them and then they ended up testing it all out and sent me a new a brand new barrel and bolt face so I put that together and this is the first time I've had a chance to get out to the range again um, initially when I was zeroing the optic um, since I had taken it off several times, I wanted to re-zero before I did this test. I was using the Hornady Black ammo and um, it really wasn't showing me any kind of good groups whatsoever. And I was a little bit upset, you know, I thought maybe the barrel, the barrel I got was going to just give me the same exact results this time as it did last time. But then the very first group that I shot was right up here. It's the Alexander Arms. It's the 123 Lapua Sinar, and that gave me the best results of the day. And that was the first group I shot for, um, for grouping size. These are all five shot groups. And when I was aiming, I would if I was shooting the top left, I would aim at this point of the square. If I was shooting the top right, I would aim at this point of the square. If I was shooting the bottom left, I would aim at this, this edge of this, this little corner of the square. And if I was shooting the bottom right, I would aim at this edge of the square. So. Keep that in mind, you know, the point of aim is the same on both targets, um, but obviously point of impact shifts based on the round and all that. So uh, you can see the Alexander Arms 
123 CNR produced really good results. That's a five shot group. Um, I'm a little disappointed with the Nosler match right here. Uh, that's the um, 123 grain custom competition. I expected a little bit better results with that considering it is match grade and it wasn't cheap. Uh, moving down to the bottom left, this is the Wolf uh, 100 grain FMJ. You know, that's it's a decent group for how cheap that stuff is. And uh, like I said, I zeroed the scope with Hornady Black and I wasn't really impressed with it. But when I really took my time and sat down and tried to, to get some good groups with the rifle, it actually produced pretty, a pretty decent group. So, I mean, it could have just been me, could have been the gun working the kinks out after not being shot after I put it back together this, this last time, but it uh, seems, seems that the Hornady Black ammo shoots pretty well through it. Uh, the second best group is up here on the right target. It's the Federal Gold Medal Match. It's the Burger 130 grain hybrid open tip match bullet. And uh, that, again, that, that did really well. The shot that's on the right right here, I um, pulled it a little bit myself. There was a gentleman that was sitting two lanes over from me who had a really short uh, AR and he had a muzzle brake on it and he was just going crazy with with rounds he was throwing down range and a lot of times it would be right before I was going to shoot one of my rounds and it would make me jump a little bit so just keep that in mind for that to the right of that is the Hornady SST 123 grain and um, I really expected to get better results with that I mean Hornady I typically like Hornady stuff uh, but I was really just that's that's the worst group of the whole whole set I mean even the wolf ammo did better than that so you can see it's kind of all over the place over there, but anyway, uh, the the bottom left there was quite a long, um, quite a long ceasefire uh, as people went down to to change their targets out, and this first shot was on a cold bore. It really was maybe like 20 or 30 minutes that they had it the range closed down. So I don't know why it took so long that time, but this shot right here was on a cold bore, and these four were, you know, after that first shot. So um, this is the Federal Fusion 120 grain bonded soft point. It's a hunting, more of a hunting ground than the rest of them. It, uh, it, it actually produced pretty good group after that first cold bore shot. And you know, here's some other cheap ammo, American Eagle 120 grain open tip match. It, you know, maybe a two inch group, inch and a half, two inch group there. So overall, this round of uh, ammo comparison was much better than the first round. I'm very happy that the Alexander Arms uh, produced a good group right off the bat because it really gave me hope for the rest of the groupings. Um, if I wouldn't have gotten a good group, this time I would have been pretty upset because I did spend quite a bit of money on the LaRue barrel. So uh, they they did right by it. I contacted them, told them that I bought it from a third party and they were still willing to stand behind their product. So good on LaRue for taking care of the customer. Thanks for watching the videos I put up. Uh, if you really enjoy the content, please consider liking and subscribing the channel as it really does help uh, get my videos seen more and help the channel out. Helps me get, uh, helps me purchase other things to review and pass on information to you guys. So again, thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed.